Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. Okay. I don't know why I've been doing that lately, but I've just been in a mood, been in a really good mood. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing another chit chat. Get ready with me. I kind of like doing these. One, they're very easy to edit. Number two, it gives me a chance to talk to you guys. And number three, um, I have some things on my mind that I want to talk about and yeah, these are perfect and it just feels like, like usually like if I'm doing my makeup and I'm doing a voiceover, like I'm usually watching something on my like YouTube while I'm doing my makeup or something like that. But I figured this is a way to kind of kill two birds with one stone so I get to talk to you guys and I get to do my makeup. Um, I'm not going anywhere. Today is Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, obviously this video is going to be recorded, I mean uploaded after that, but nonetheless you still got my happy Mother's Day ahead of time. Um, the day that I'm filming this video is Mother's Day, so I'm actually in the house for the day. I'm actually not going anywhere. I left my house to get gas. I'll probably leave again to do, do grocery shopping, maybe. Other than that, I'm going to be in this house, okay? So I just wanted to come in and do my makeup and talk with you guys. Um, I kind of ended my last chit chat video with some things that I didn't get a chance to talk about because that video was already super long. Um, and this one's probably going to be another long one. So grab your coffee, tea, juice, snack, whatever. It's fine. Put your earbuds in if you just want to walk around the house and just listen to me talk and you don't care about the makeup. Because honestly, I'm not, again, I'm not going to be showing you guys the product, every single product that I'm using, but I will mention some. But yeah, that's enough talking. I have enough talking to do. Let's hop into this video. So as you can tell, I already did my eyebrows off camera, which don't don't mind them. They're not completely done. Everything comes together, you know, as we're going along. I know they're kind of close together. It's a process, okay? But I wanted to get the base of it done off camera because doing my brows, you know, takes me a long time. Um, I am going to be using, again, some products from Juvia's Place. This is not a sponsored video by Juvia's Place. You guys know I buy all my other, all my stuff from Juvia's Place on my own. But I just got them and I'm kind of going to kind of use them for a little while and get some thoughts on them. And I'm going to do a review video after this anyway. But I have some of their new bronze collection, the blush collection that just came out. So I'm going to be trying some of those. Not trying them out because I have obviously used the bronze one. But the blush stuff actually came the day that I filmed that other video. Um, and I had already filmed it so I couldn't use it in that video so I'm gonna be using some of those products as well in this video um, I'm hoping I don't do a similar look to one I did in the last one but if I do so be it I'm not gonna wear any lashes on this video though because it was a mess trying to get that on so anyway so today I want to talk about um, first and we'll see where we go from there um, is this topic that I'll post the post um, here so you guys can see the reference and why I'm thinking about it talking about it mentioning it um, and I saw a couple people that I actually follow on um, Twitter and things like that kind of comment on this I saw it on Instagram originally and then I just happened to be on Twitter the same day and people were talking about it um, about that particular post and I just wanted to get my two cents on it because I feel like you know this is a question that always not even always the the concept of it always gets brought up and you know women are being too picky about what's harassment what's not and I saw a lot of comments like that and I just wanted to get my two cents on it just in general um, so so here's the thing you know, is it considered harassment is technically the main question, right? Technically, it is not harassment. Technically, it's not harassment. I don't think that it is. I don't feel that it is actually harassment. The thing about it is, though, is that a lot of the times when we end up being too nice to men or we um, give in to little comments little smart smart remarks it becomes a thing you know i don't mind if someone sees me and they say oh you should smile or you should smile more or you have a nice smile or all those types of things i'm not offended i don't feel harassed i don't feel bothered 
at all. Harassment. Is it annoying? Yes. Um, unfortunately, you know, people have a con uh, uh, have decided that women like attention, um, no matter where it's coming from. And the truth of the matter is, a lot of us do not like attention, um, to be honest. I don't like attention. Um, I don't like unwarranted attention. I don't like anyone <laughs> that I'm not actually interested in speaking to me. I am very, <laughs> AKA low key, like I just, I want to be left alone when I'm, I'm just going to smile. I don't mind doing it for somebody that I'm never ever going to see again. Like if I'm out of town and somebody says it or I'm at the local grocery store and someone says it and it's someone I'm never ever going to see again. The only time it slightly bothers me is when it's somebody that I know I'm going to see again and again and again that I'm not interested in. And the reason I say that is because I've been in experiences where I've been really nice to people and then you know at some point shortly after that time that I'm actually nice to them they then come and hit on me which is usually where I have the problem which is like you know had I not been nice you wouldn't have approached me so now it's a thing of you now think that I'm interested because I was nice and it's just like I'm simply being nice you know I'm simply being nice because if I'm not nice then I'm stuck up and I'm a bitch and or you know whatever the case may be you know so it's almost like I'm forced to be nice even when I just don't want to be nice um, and then when I am nice it's like oh I got a reaction out of her that must mean she interested because all the other girls that I said this to they rolled their eyes or gave me attitude but she did it so she must she must like me at some stake and I'm not saying all men think like that. I don't think all men think like that. There are men who I've met that say that like, hey, um, you know, you should smile and they leave it at that and that's it. Those are the men I appreciate. Like, thank you for not hitting on me. I'm going in with this palette right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and use some shades from this and a little bit of the bronze rustic palette, but right now I'm gonna be going in with this just to kind of see. I really just wanna see what this color right here does, <laughs> honestly. It just really sprites my interest. That would actually be a pretty nice blush color too, but you know, we're just gonna, ooh, this is a pretty color, guys. Love it. Super pretty. Um, I feel like I haven't seen this kind of color in a Juvia's Place palette. Like I know a lot of got people like their palettes seem to be repetitive in shade, but I feel like this particular color might be a little bit new. It might be similar to something, but it is not it is not the same, honey. It's not the same. Ooh, I like that. Um, so I don't have a problem with it, but I do want to tell you guys a story um, that kind of goes, um, it made me think of this particular topic and it, it goes back to why I'm not, I try not to be too nice to people who I'm genuinely not interested in because it gets, ta it really gets taken very wrong or you know it just brings you a certain amount of attention that you don't actually want and we're looking for so i've been living in my particular apartment that i'm in now for about three years maybe three and a half years at this point and i there are neighbors <clears throat> like i live kind of like in a three family house and um a lot of the houses like that or like that on my street and i actually have a neighbor I pretty much speak to a lot of my neighbors on the block like when I say speak to like I'm very you guys have no idea like I am super private like I don't even think my neighbors know my name if they do know my name it's simply because of the mail um, other than that the people who live on my block do not know my name they do know who I am what kind of car I drive things like that but they don't actually know my name they don't know where I work they assume that I'm a nurse I'm not a nurse but I'm sure they assume that I nurse I'm a nurse because I wear scrubs um, and things like that and so a lot of my neighbors around here I do see them when I see them I wave I say hello I'm not mean I'm not rude I just do a simple good afternoon good evening whatever but there's this one particular neighbor who I I see all the time he lives a couple houses down from me I see him all 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 of the time morning when I most of the time when I leave for work but most of the time when I'm coming home from work um, mind you, my daughter's only been gone a year. I'm only mentioning that because it relates to the story. So my daughter has been gone for a year. I've been living here for three and a half years. He's been living here longer than I've been. He's been living in this area longer than I've been. So, you know, 
you would assume that one would know that I have a daughter, things like that, of that nature. But I digress. So one day, and this is particularly the day that I came home from my photo shoot that I did, my self-love photo shoot. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, you can go to my blog and see the pictures. I did the self-love photo shoot with one of my, my good friends, so I was pretty dressed up. I had my makeup done. I still, it was a few weeks ago for me filming this video. When you guys are seeing this video, I have no idea. But a few weeks before this, it was probably in the month of April, I'll say that. And I did this photo shoot and I came home, like a couple of my neighbors saw me when I left, but it was really early when I left for the photo shoot. So not everyone saw me, just like my neighbors, most of my neighbors around here are older, um, particularly, and you know, one of my neighbors, she was like, oh, you look so nice, you look so pretty, boom, okay, no problem, thank you, kept it moving. And so this next neighbor, when I came home, now there were a lot more people outside at the time and they can, you know, everyone kind of saw me dress up, which most of my neighbors don't see me dressed up because I'm not really, I, I won't say I don't go out, but like, I don't, most of the time they see me, it's when I'm going and um, if they do see me on a weekend, um, at least for the past year, you know, it's been Corona, so I haven't been like going out. Like I've, I'll have my makeup done, but I'll just have something regular on, you know, but I'm not like in a tight dress. I'm not in short shorts. I'm not wearing heels. It's not an everyday thing or something they probably see all the time. So this one particular neighbor, he saw me, he was like, oh, you look so nice. Um, I didn't know you get dressed like that, blah, blah, blah. You know, it was kind of like a little, Thing. He was like, I gotta get a picture or whatever. And I'm like, okay, whatever. He's an older man with you or whatever. And I'm like, okay, whatever. It's not a big deal. He's a little older. I didn't think anything of it. And so he was like, oh, I'm gonna send you the picture. So he texted me the picture. I didn't like the picture, but it didn't really matter. I don't care. Um, and that was that. Um, probably the next day after that. So now he had my number because he texted me the picture, whatever. Um, didn't think anything of it in the moment when he texted me the picture. So then he texted me the next day, like, Hey, you know, what are you doing? How long have you been single? So I'm just like, here we go. Like this, this is why I kind of say to myself when, when with people, it's just, I, I don't just because I'm pretty or just because you like, I just don't want to be hit on all the time. Like all the time like it's really annoying actually um but i just i was like i've been single for two years like whatever i just replied i've been single for two years i'm i'm studying that's what i'm doing um he said okay sorry to bother you cool no problem i didn't respond maybe about two to three days later um he saw me again this time i was coming home from work and i think i was coming home from work or maybe it was a sunday it was over the weekend. It was a, a weekend, so I wasn't in work clothes, but I wasn't also, I was, I had my makeup done, but I was dressed regular, like I was running errands. That's what it was. And I came, it was a Sunday. And um, he, he was outside with like, you know, you know, guys hanging on the block, whatever. And he was like, oh, you know, you know, me being out here, that's not like a normal thing that I do and whatever, whatever. I would like to take you out for drinks. And I don't know what made him say that him being on a block, hanging outside is not a normal thing that he did. I don't know why he said that. I don't know if he said that because he assumed that I probably am not interested in people that do that. But whatever the case may be, he said that. And um, I was just, and in my head, I'm just like, you are one of those people because every time I see you, you are out here. So, okay, whatever. I'm not one of those people because you guys never see me. Like you never see me unless I'm leaving my house or coming home from somewhere. You never see me on my porch. You never see me sitting outside talking in my car with anybody. You never see me have someone pull up and I'm talking to them at their car. Like you guys don't even see anybody come in and out of here, right? And he said that he was like, oh, I would like to take you out for drinks. You know, I, I don't see like a man, you know, around or anything like that. And he was like, I think I saw a man one time. And I, like in my mind, I was just like, who, my daughter's father? I just said it like that. And he was like, oh, you have a daughter? And I'm just like, I've been living here for three and a half years. My daughter's only been gone for one of those. So that means that in my mind, it mentally goes to so like, you didn't even actually notice me until you saw me that day in that tight dress. Now you want to talk to me. 
do you get what I'm saying like now you're interested in me like why are you now interested in me because you saw me in that tight dress because all my other neighbors know that I have a daughter because they ask about her all the time when I said it to you you almost look like oh like like shocked like when I say shocked like oh you have a daughter like yeah I have a daughter I've been had a daughter before you saw me in that tight dress I had a daughter he was like, oh, I, th I don't know why I thought you were single with no kids. And I was just like, whatever. And then, then I was just like, well, I'm not really interested in fussing with anybody on this block or being bothered with anybody on this block, to be honest with you. Like, I'm good. Like, he was old. Like, he was, like, in his 50s. Older man. And I'm not even going to talk about how he looked or anything like that because it's re irrelevant because I wasn't interested in any level, whether he was attractive or not. I'm not interested in dating people on my block. I'm very private. I'm, br I'm very state of myself. Don't bother me. Don't harass me. Don't like hi, bye. I'm good with that. I, I don't want my name out in these streets. And that's that. Like, I'm good with that. And, um, he was like, oh no, you know, I just, you know, I just figured out eggs and blah, blah, blah. I was just like, meh that's it and then he said, said something else like oh do you know how to right after that he was like do you know how to can hook up a subwoofer and I'm looking at him like you're literally standing on a corner with a bunch of dudes and you're asking me if I know how to set up a subwoofer sir goodbye even if I do right and granted I do why are you asking me you don't even know me number one and he was like because oh, then he said something like oh i you know i see you around you know i always say hi to you no and i like you and i'm just like you don't even know me two this is the most you've spoken to me and you've only spoken to me this mo month much because you see me in a tight dress a couple of weeks ago like come on like I can see if you were one of those guys who always like there are guys out here who always speak to me who always say hi to me who always make like funny flirty comments to me or just whatever like I expect that from them because they've seen me but for you to come over here like it's like blatant that blatantly obvious that you're only speaking to me this long because of the fact that you saw me one day in a tight dress and then you ask me if I know how to hook up a subwoofer as if you're not standing outside with a bunch of guys who also probably know how to set up a sub subwoofer. Why exactly are you asking me, a woman who you don't even know like that? Do you get what I'm saying? So it's, it, it, it makes me very difficult. And this is what I go back to. It makes it very difficult for women sometimes to be nice to people because of situations like that. Like... I genuinely am the type of person I like to be left alone. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest with you. I like, I really like to be left alone, especially like in the premise of my house and things of that nature. I like to be left alone and I'm okay with that. And a lot of guys feel like we're not okay with that. Like I'm okay with being left alone and not being hit on and not, <laughs> and like at the end of the day, like a woman will let you know if she's interested in being hit on, to be honest with you, if you get what I'm saying. So it was just a situation where it's just like being nice to people sometimes doesn't actually go as you think it should. It's kind of like you try to be nice and it's automatically uh, an invitation that, hey, I'm interested because I'm being nice. But it's, it's not always the case, you know. And I guess it, it does kind of make it hard for men to like figure out if a woman is interested because we feel this way. But at the same time, you, you can read the room. You know what I'm saying? You can read the room. And that's, that's, that's just period. I don't know which one I should go in with. Hmm. No, it's not really my thing. No. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go on with this palette. I think last time I used this as my inner tear duck highlight in that other palette. I think this time I'm gonna use this as my lid color. Because it's so freaking pretty. Um but yeah, that was just an experience of and it made me think of the whole smiling thing. It's just that sometimes we it's not that we consider it harassment. It just feels annoying when I have and I have to smile just because you asked me to to avoid you calling me stuck up or you calling me a bitch or whatever the case may be because from my experience if I don't smile or if I don't engage you know that's usually what happens I think that's more of the frustration that women have it's not that we actually don't 
like smiling it's just we know what it comes with and so and not every time that we're out we're looking for that you know it it becomes harassment usually what proceeds after we don't do what is necessarily asked of us if you get what i'm saying you know and you know being me being my, nice to my neighbor i didn't think anything of it i was just being nice you know we live on the same street saying hello i didn't I didn't give him any type of in inkling that I was interested in him at all. Like, I was just being neighborly. And, you know, every time you're neighborly, you know, I guess, you know, I guess in men's mind, it's like, well, I'll never know unless I take a shot. But, you know, it's just, it's just weird when it feels like you're just being nice and being friendly and setting a boundary. And men just disregard that boundary and just like, well, I'm going to take a shot anyway just to see if I, I have a chance, you know? It just kind of sucks because it makes you not want to speak to anybody because I'm like, damn, if I'm nice to him, he's going to think I'm interested. Or now am I going to have to do a disclaimer? Yeah. Hey, I'm not interested in you. I'm just being nice, you know? And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with guys approaching me. I don't mind it. It's just that was just a situation where it was blatantly obviously that you came up to me in that manner because of how you saw me look that one time. So now it's a, a thing of you want to see me look like that more often and you want to be the person that's benefiting from me looking like that. And um, you didn't actually like me because you, you know, you saw me and I was nice to you on the block. You liked me because you saw me in a pretty, in a pretty dress. And I even use pretty dress loosely because that's not, it was a basic ass dress to be honest with you. But I looked good in it, don't get me wrong. But it was just basic. It was just one of those things where I was just like, Ugh. I can't even just come home in peace. Like, home, like I just want to come home in peace. Now I don't feel like that dodge you every time I see you. <sighs> All right, hold on. So the second thing that I want to talk about is ghosting. And I'm only going to talk about ghosting in the way that I've experienced it. Not in, I mean, there's different ways to ghost people and things of that nature. So I'm not going to talk about it in every single form of ghosting like ghosting comes in all different forms ghosting can come and you've been talking to somebody for a long time and they just autumn disappear it could be like first date ghosting there's different forms I'm just gonna speak about this specific one that I feel happened to me um, I'm gonna briefly talk about it so I had a guy that I was talking to and we were talking for a while like um, seven months it wasn't anything serious so to speak because he had a lot of personal things going on and I think I mentioned this in my blog and this is kind of like an elaboration on the blog that I posted um, um, believing in something that wasn't real um, if you guys read it I'll have it linked in the description box sorry I'm trying to let me do this eyeliner because I cannot do this and talk honestly okay sorry <laughs> Especially when I'm doing like this eye, this eye is like a jerk. So I just sometimes got to take that offline. I'm going to finish up the eyes, but I'm going to start working on the face. Um, but I just wanted to get that done in the meantime. Um, so I was talking to this guy and I'm going to consider it ghosting um, because we had a conversation where we had gotten to an argument that I didn't even realize it was an argument until he was like, well, I didn't, I didn't want to get into an argument with you. And I'm just like, oh, I didn't realize that they were, we were arguing, but okay. And um, it, 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 honestly, if I tell you guys what it was, you guys would be looking at me like I'm, I got eight heads. Like it literally was a, a topic of, I don't know if it was a situation of him gaslighting. I'm going to say it was. And I'm going to tell you a little bit. So I had said something about my heat being on. I was like, oh, I, like my heat works. The way my heat works is it's either on or off. It's not like you can control the temperature. It's either on or off. It's a radiator. And in my house particularly, it's on and off. So we were on the phone. And he, I was like, oh, it's so hot. But I know if I turn it off, I'm going to be cold. And he was like, why don't you just turn it down? And I'm just like, well, I don't want to turn it down. Like, I, I was like, I can't turn it. No, it's like, I can't turn it down because it's, you know, it's. It's either on or off. He was like, oh, I remember when I was growing up, um, we had, we can still control it. And I was like, well, no, here, it's, um, you can't turn it off. And he was like, he was like, oh, well, I'll never tell you about anything from my childhood again. And I'm just, in, in my head, I'm just like, what? 
He's like, I don't know what's everybody's problem. They're coming for my throat this week or today or whatever, whatever. And I'm just like, wait, what? Okay. So he kind of got a little quiet on the phone or whatever. And I guess that kind of annoyed him. That I, I don't know. Like, just me saying, well, mine isn't like that. I don't know if that annoyed him. I really don't know. And I was just like, okay, whatever. And so it got quiet on the phone for a little while. And I can tell he kind of had an attitude, so he hung up. So he hung up and um, he said something. Um, so then he texts me like a few hours later, or not a few hours, it's not that long after. And he was like, oh, because we have like this kind of running joke that he has a crush on, like a celebrity crush. And you know he's like oh I know why you were giving me attitude so I, I thought we were back in play mode because it was that celebrity's birthday that day and he was like um he was like oh I know why everybody has an attitude with me today you thought I was with her talking about this particular celebrity I'm not gonna say the celebrity and all of that kind of stuff because I don't want people to be like googling oh this happened on you know March 21st and whose celebrity whose birthday is March duh, 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 or this celebrity, you know, I don't want people to calculate me, like don't clock me. So he's like, oh, it's this person's birthday. And blah, blah. I was like, go ahead and say it. Like who, whose birthday is it? I knew whose birthday it was. I actually knew whose birthday it was while we was on the phone. And I was gonna make a joke about it while we were on the phone, but then the shit happened. So um, I was like, go ahead, whose birthday is it? And he was like, you know, I wasn't with her and blah 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 it's not like that just making like a little hee hee joke and I was just like okay you know I deleted the text message now so I can't go back and read it verbatim but it just kind of like I was like you are so crazy like I was like you can't win with you like if I'm too nice to you it's a problem if I'm mean to you it's a problem he's like oh no you win you win I'm not gonna argue with you I don't want to argue I was like you know what never mind I was like you know what you're belittling my feelings, you know, have a good day. I'll talk to you later, like type of thing. And he was like, oh, really? Wow, blah, 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 blah. And that was it. I didn't realize that we were in an argument. I'm going to be honest with you. I did not realize like that was ground for an argument. Like I said, I think some people do things or take things seriously because they were already looking for an out. And that's kind of how after a few months I thought that so after that you know he I guess he had an attitude after that conversation actually technically after the first conversation the thermostat conversation and then in the midst of the text he's like I'm not trying to argue with you and I'm like okay neither am I like what was it T I thought we were joking about this celebrity here but okay whatever and I was just like okay and then I happened to go out that night with one of my friends and I happened to be pretty close to his house I had texted him like hey I don't really know what happened yesterday but you know, I'm in your neighborhood and I was, you know, with my, hanging out with my friend, you, you crossed my mind. <laughs> I used too much of that, <laughs> that corrector, but it don't even matter. It's still gonna look good. I used too much, but we gonna rock with it. Um, and he was like, I forgot what he said, but he was like, no, I'm not mad. You know, I just didn't want to argue. So I'm like, okay, cool. You're not mad. That's what I took from it. You said what you said, you weren't mad. Cool. So we have we had a routine of what we do every day, you know, and so I text him I, and I, I think it was an unspoken routine. It wasn't like a routine that we say, OK, we're going to do this. It was just an unspoken routine. Um, I'm going to go in with this foundation. The can't stop, won't stop foundation. This is in the shade Mocha. It's a little red for me. It's just disregard because I haven't been to pick up another new one, but I'm gonna use this one because I kind of feel like it and that's where my head is at right now so, anyway so I text him like you know hey the next day hey hope all is well and it was like later in the day because he had not reached out to me at all so I just text him like hey you know hope all is well hope you're having a good day and he texted me he did text me back but it was very like generic like hey all is well hope you have a good day that was it nothing else since then so I'm just like okay so to me that gave off you're no longer interested like whatever happened the day before Emma you were no longer interested because you were def definitely disconnected from whatever we had going on at that point because in my head I'm like you know we we had kind of a routine going you know like we had 
a routine going and you've pretty much deviated from that routine and uh, I meant to highlight and contour underneath like I usually do but you know I guess I'll do it the old-fashioned way which is okay um, so I just I stopped reaching out because I, I felt like you know anytime we had gotten to anything like this I was always I was always the one like hey how are you doing hey checking in hey hey me it was always me and I was like no I'm not doing that again like at the end of the day I was putting forth the effort to talk and anything like that and then if you are mad honestly like I don't know what you're mad about and if you're not you don't know how to relay that without arguing then you know I'll give you some time but probably a week went by and my one of my friends had texted me about a car that he had been looking for because I had told my friend like he was looking for a particular car at some point while we were dating and I had mentioned it to a friend like hey if you ever get this car in you know let me know so I can tell him because he's interested and so the car had came in during this quiet time that we weren't speaking because I hadn't spoken to him in about a week and I happened to get a text from this particular friend and she was like hey you know we got the car that you were looking for. like is your friend still looking for the car that I was talking about I was like not really sure but send me the information and I'll forward it to them so she sent me everything I pretty much copied and pasted you know her text and in my text I put this is what I put I put I know we're not I know you're not speaking anymore but my friend got the, the car you were talking about I sent her her name her contact information and I sent him the pictures of the car and all of you know whatever information that she did told tell me and I said you know if you're interested you can reach out to her directly his response was um, I never I never said that first off which I'm assuming that refers to we're not talking anymore. I'm assuming he was talking about that, but thanks for the information, right? That's what he sent. So I'm like, okay, so he's not mad and he just needed a moment. Okay, cool. Not even cool, I was just like, okay, whatever. So, I haven't heard from him since. Now, if you say, like I, I gave you a week, I don't know how long the people think that we're gonna wait around, I gave you a week before I even sent that message and I only sent that message because of the car situation and you know if you said that you never said that we weren't talking anymore but then I haven't sp spoken to you in you know now how many ever months that means something happened and you didn't feel that it was necessary to tell me that something had happened or that you know that you weren't talking to me anymore so I that I felt like that's a form of ghosting and to me some people are like well you know maybe he just needed time and I'm like I can, I can give you time but you need to communicate that it was one and it was one of those things with him that I always had a problem with that he really didn't know how to communicate and that's a really big <clears throat> that's a really big <clears throat> oh my god problem for me so he we haven't spoken since and to me, I was really offended by it because we were talking for so long and we talked for hours every day. And I don't, and like every day, especially during the week. Um, hours. Um, hours. Like I can't even, we would be on the phone five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve hours a day. You know, I would be on the phone with him sometimes from the moment he got to work to the moment he got off of work and got home. Um, so we, and that was regularly so to me it just it just got to the point where I was I was really confused about it for a long time and I couldn't really understand it and it got to the point where it was like you know if you thought that being that way was acceptable <clears throat> or whatever and you thought that was honestly truly acceptable to me and you thought that that was okay to do to me that means you you didn't value me as a person you didn't value me as a person. You didn't find me of any importance in your life, to be honest. You just, you, I don't know technically why I was around. Because you, <laughs> I tried to draw a heart. It didn't work. Anyway, um, you didn't value me. And that, that was actually really, it was really an offensive situation. Because I felt like, you know, 
not even a matter of that we were going to be together or anything like that. It was just a matter of I thought we both had built a certain level of respect for each other. And I guess that was just me. You know, I didn't, I didn't make certain jokes with him because I was empathetic of certain things can possibly hurt his feelings. And he was like one of those people who couldn't really take a joke. And like I said, I'm not perfect. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there were things about me he didn't like. But you communicate that stuff and he wasn't able to. And I, I would have been I would have been appreciative, I guess, in the moment or if he did feel like, hey, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I feel like we had been talking a lot long enough where I would have deserved um, more of a not an explanation, but being like a, a simple, hey, you know what? I don't think this is working for me. I don't think it's going anywhere. And, you know, let's just. I don't know I feel like I deserve that at that point for as long as that we were talking as long as we were dealing with each other for the information that we shared to each other um, I don't know I just felt like I deserved a better ending and I didn't get that so that was quite difficult actually for a while honestly like after that experience it was quite difficult for me because I just always feel like when you honestly take that time and give someone your actual attention it either gets taken advantage of or they don't actually appreciate it or they think like you do this with everyone or I don't know I don't know what I think but I just I just thought it was disrespectful um, on his part because I definitely I don't know and I guess that was me just assuming that he felt a certain way about me at, at the very least I felt that he respected me as a person and then doing that was just very childish um, to me you know it might not have been childish to him it might have been like an easy way to not have to I guess have an argument with somebody which you know is the you know usually the thing with men like they they usually lie or don't say things because they don't want to argue but you know if that's more important than respect then <laughs> okay you know um, and I bring that up I bring that whole story up just to say something about ghosting um, ghosting is just highly disrespectful and I get that it can be difficult to tell somebody that you're not interested anymore I definitely I definitely get it it is but if it's somebody that you've been dealing with just just tell them like just tell them it's okay like they may be upset they may think you're a bad guy like we're all the bad person in somebody's story period like i'm i can be the bad person in his for all i know to be honest i don't know but at the end of the day we're all the bad person in somebody's story and we we just accept that and move on like you don't have to be the good guy in everybody's story and you may not be always the good guy in everybody's story and that's okay too but at least you can say that yes what happened that is what happened i did tell her that i wasn't interested because you know whatever the case may be you know I did tell her I'm not interested in her because she was big I did say that and that's how I felt or I, I did tell her that I didn't want to talk to her anymore because I don't think that she's fit for the life that I'm living you can say that you're okay it's okay to say that you know if you're okay with people thinking that you're a ghost and that you pretty much abandoned somebody that you had been talking to for you know seven eight nine months and you pretty much just abandoned them and left them in limbo if you're okay with that you should be okay with anything else and I would think you would be more okay with the truth or at least I would hope the your integrity would would be you'll be more okay with people knowing the truth as opposed to people just saying you abandoned this person and gave them no explanation you didn't and I didn't even need an explanation you could have easily just said I ain't the one for you and I think for me he probably said that in not so many ways but you know you say that but then you continuously call me and we weren't intimate it wasn't a sex thing so i don't even want to be like well maybe he was just trying to get some sex whatever the case is um you know just just say what it is like and i think the thing that annoyed me with him is when when that happened i actually went back and read some of his old text messages um, and I and I only did because I remember he said something he has said I pride myself on being honest whether I want to be with somebody or not like I pride myself on no I pride myself on being honest that's what he said and I 
I'm trying to find out where the honesty went from the first conversation that we had till now because not quite honest. I don't know what's in your tear duct highlight I should use. I'm looking between these two palettes. All right, let me line my waterline. Maybe by then I'll make up the decision. Um, so yeah, I just find ghosting very childish. It's so stupid. It's so unnecessary. Like, it is so much easier just to be nice. Like, just be a nice person. Just be a good person. And sometimes, like I said, we're all a villain in somebody's story. I know I am. I couldn't tell you whose story. Because some people look at villains differently, you know? People thought Michael B. Jordan was a villain in the Black Panther, but was he really? Was he really? You know, like if you think and break it down, was he really a villain? You know what I mean? Everybody's idea of a villain is different. And, you know, something, maybe what I've done to other people may have, may be seen as villain-like. I don't know. But if that's their experience, that's their experience. And it's only respectful, especially to people who view it actually invested their your time with it's definitely um something i feel that they deserve is that sense of okay you made your piece you're not interested cool especially you know and be okay with that if you're a villain don't people will always say that they were good in a relationship that they didn't do anything wrong i can say i never did anything wrong in a relationship there's probably one relationship I can guarantee that I didn't do anything remotely wrong to cause the breakup, right? There's definitely one relationship I can definitely pinpoint to cause a breakup. But I'm pretty sure there are other people and other that have been with me that will say I did something that was villain-like or the bad guy. And it may not have been mad to me but it was bad to them. And I think that like understanding that comes with maturity. You know? That for me that came with maturity to understand that we are we are all the bad guy in somebody's story. And that, huh, you put some some respect on this because this is giving me ashy vibes. Is it just me? Is it throwing y'all off? This is throwing me off. Um, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm being too picky. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I just wanted to talk about that because it was just fresh in my mind. And it's just weird, you know. Dating's weird. I said that in my last video. Dating weird's weird. It's weird. Everybody's just full of themselves and become very, you know, selfish. You know? And don't even realize that they're being selfish. You know, everyone's out for self, and that's okay, you know. We all are out for self at some point, but the lack of empathy, I tell you, <laughs> it is real out here, to be honest with you. The lack of it, the lack of justifying fucked up behavior is really on an all time high. And I don't even know if it's on an all time high or if it's just, no, it's on an all time high. I'm not even gonna say it's social media because. I ain't even on, I don't even be talking about my business on social media, so it's at an all time high. And I can't, I can't even be mad at it. I can't be mad, I can be mad at somebody goes to me, especially somebody that I actually cared about. I wish somebody I don't really care about. Anybody that I haven't had any deep conversations with, I'm not gonna feel any type of ways about ghosting. That's one thing I will say. Um, do I personally take ghosting personal? Yes, if it's somebody that I care about and somebody that I shared intimate details with. I'm going to use this one down here from the Bronze Rustic Palette. It's not giving me what I want it to give, so let's go in with another one. Let's go in with number two. They're not giving me what I want it to give either. It's not that bright. Like, you see it? It's not bright. Oh, that's, I should have, I mean, I guess I can use a glitter glue, but I don't want to. Ah. All right, since I got the glitter glue here, I'll use it because it's right here. I really didn't want to. So yeah, 
those are just some topics that I was thinking about that just made me, you know, you know, sit down and talk to you guys about. I, I, I think a lot about relationships and I talk a lot about them in my journal and with some friends. I don't talk about relationships with all of my friends because we're all very different and I'm very private about the people that I date and see and there are only really two people who really knows who I date that in my life and it's just interesting dating has been very interesting I want it's it's definitely a new learning curve so I wonder if I should try and use let's see if that helps let me use my pinky yeah that's what it needs Lord or glitter in general this is why I don't do glitter is it giving something I guess it's giving something. I guess it's not giving me what I want, but it's giving something. I'm getting annoyed. All right, let me, let me try this one. It's not giving me what I wanted to give. My oh God. Is that better? That's a little better. All right, let's rock out with this joint. Because that other one, I guess these are really like glittery, you know? Which isn't a bad thing, it's just it's not giving me what I want it to give, so I gotta improvise. Okay, now I got this freaking piece of glitter up here that ain't supposed to be there. Get off. Get off me, sis. Alright. I'm sorry. I just I was having a moment. Um so yeah, that was just like my ghost experience. That was probably my first one. And I was I'm gonna say I was surprised by that one, cause I, um, if I'm honest, I can honestly see that person doing that. Like I'm, I'm not surprised he did that, because he's not one that's very good with communicating his feelings, and he doesn't seem like he even wants you to communicate yours. To be honest with you, as much as like when we first started talking, he seemed like, you know. Would you tell somebody some, so that, you know, the person that you're dating if something bothers you? And I was like, yes. And it sounded like he appreciated that. But then at the same time, well, I forgot to contour. Don't worry. I'm going to bronze in a second. I just wanted to set that foundation. I feel like it's been sitting for a while. He, you know, I always talk about just, you know, people expressing when something bothers them. And I'm like, yeah, like I don't have any problem doing that. But I felt like every time I did that, it was a you're trying to start an argument. I'm just like, well, damn. Guess I can express something when I'm feeling a ways. Um, I'm gonna go on with, go on, go with this, this. Okay, I'm gonna go with this contour shade right here, the one down here. I kind of, I'm kind of gonna dab into both, honestly, just to. Yeah, I'm gonna do that and just contour just a little bit. As much as he talked about open communication and stuff like that when we first met, you know, after one time that I had an issue, I real I I should have known like he doesn't deal with that well, and he's probably had some pretty bad experiences with women um, expressing themselves and. Or like they may have been a little bit more like aggressive and stuff and I just wasn't he he didn't even give me a chance like he like every situation I've been in he's never given me a chance to explain he's never given me a chance to even make him understand it was always like okay you're trying to start argument oh this you know it was always like a let's just shut this down before it gets carried away type of thing and it was just kind of like damn like wait a second like listen you're not even listening and it's just interesting all this stuff is very interesting i'm gonna go on with this the bronzer palette from juvia's place this is the dark one and i'm actually going to use this one to bronze up my skin i'm kind of going back and forth between the two honestly and just kind of bronzing it up. I really like this stuff, and it's so buttery. I'm just so, I'm just so over dating. And I try not to. I don't want to give up or anything like that. Cause I, I, I do believe in love. You know, as dumb as it may freaking sound these days, 
you know, I do still actually believe in love and relationships and, you know, monogamy, all that kind of stuff, even though there's all this other stuff that people are doing. That's just not my style. Like, I believe in love. I believe in marriage. I believe in marrying for love. You know, not just for love, because I do feel like love has become more of a business contract. Um, to some extent, I do feel like there's ways that you need to protect yourself and your partner. Um, so I am... I am aware of that. But I just still believe in wear blush in a... So this is the two... I still believe in love. Like, I do believe and I do believe that it's a real thing. I do believe that you can get it. I just think it's just a lot more difficult when everybody's just always looking for the next best thing as opposed to making it work with the person that you like. It's like you're looking for the next best perfection and you're not going to find perfection in anyone, to be honest with you. Um, and I think people are so stuck on like the if you make one mistake I'm just going to stop talking to you because I'm gonna find someone else who doesn't make that mistake And then you're gonna meet somebody who doesn't make the mistake that I made But they're gonna make a different mistake and then you're just constantly But then I, I the funny thing is I went back to an old text message of this particular person It's again another thing that came into my head it's like where was where is this energy that you had when we met? And I don't know if it's because he came to some sort of conclusion in the midst of us talking that I wasn't the one. But I remember he said something, if I can remember, because I kind of went through a lot of our texts before I deleted them. And he said, we can always find something that's wrong with someone. Like, there's always going to be something that we don't like. You just have to be, like, is that person worth working with? And I guess I was not worth working with. Um, I came to that conclusion as well. Um, that maybe for him I wasn't worth working with which you know his loss not mine um, <laughs> but this is volume one of the blush rude palette this is volume two obviously I'm probably gonna use this one more than anything because it just has like deeper shades this is kind of like on the this I definitely can't use for anything this one maybe but I'm gonna go in with this palette volume one and I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use this blush right here. This one right here. Just because I feel like it goes with kind of what I got going on in my face. So, super pigmented. <laughs> I be tripping with the blush. Like, I be going in here like, like I don't know that they're pigmented. Like, what is wrong with you right now? Calm down. Um, so I, just to say, I was highly offended when I was, when I, when that particular person goes, there are people that have goes to me that I didn't really care because Either I didn't really like them or I would have ended the relationship or situation anyway. But it just was really weird to me that he said, I never said that we weren't talking anymore, but then we never talked again. So like whether you said it or not, I'm going by your actions, not by what you say. Like people are so big and why well, I didn't say that. I'm not going by what anybody says. I've never gone by what anybody says. I go by what you do. What you do is what matters. I don't care if you didn't say anything. Your actions are telling me otherwise. Like, I don't want somebody that's, for me to be beat over that's not beat over me. Like, I'm all for a thirsty dude that I'm also thirsty for. Like, you gotta sweat me like I sweat you. I told, I tell everybody that from the beginning. Like, whatever energy I give, I need back. And if you ain't giving it, eventually I'm no longer interested. All right, let's get on these lit. Mmm, I like this look. I'm gonna go on with this Lux liner from Juvia's Place, shade Brownie. But yesterday I used a gloss. Today I want to use a matte liquid lipstick. Mmm, which one? Which one? I'm gonna go in with the dark. I'm gonna go in with the bronze chestnut because she's been calling me. Mhm. Mm look at look at that. Oh. Then I think I'm gonna go in with. Honestly, I'm gonna go in with um bronze toast. And let's see if I can just dab a little in the center.
Do y'all like that? I feel like this would have been good with the berry too. But. I like it. I'm going to go with it. We're going to go with it. Okay, let me go put on some clothes. And I'll be back with the finished look, some final thoughts, and yeah. <sighs> okay, so this is the completed look. I actually love how it turned out. Let me spray my face with some setting spray. Ooh. Ciao. Um. So yeah, that's just kind of how I've been feeling. <laughs> you guys know, I'm gonna have a lot of like dating videos and talking, I, I don't even know how I'm gonna have a lot of dating videos cause I don't know how open I am to really dating right now to be honest with you guys. Um, just because I feel like the type of relationship that I want may be slightly unattainable. Um, to be honest, the type of love and attention and I don't know what you call it, reciprocity. <laughs> I don't even know if that's the right word um, that I am looking for. It just doesn't exist. And don't get me wrong, there are people that are interested in me, but I'm just not as equally interested in them. And I think that's just the place that I'm at right now. Um, yeah, so I'm not saying that it's impossible. I do believe in love. I think it's a thing. Um, like I said in my other video, I haven't given up. I just um i don't know if i need to change my ways or just you know the thing is if i change my ways and i'm being fake and phony and then they're falling in love with someone that is not who that i i can keep up you know the only way i know how to do is as i said before is be myself and show the attention that i give um that's the only way that i know how to be like if i like you i don't know how to pretend that i don't I don't know how to, I don't know how to do what these people are doing these days. I'm going to be honest with you. I really don't. And I'm not trying to learn because I'm not trying to pretend to be somebody that I'm not to get a relationship because now I have to keep that up. Like now I have to keep up that behavior and I cannot, I can't do it. Like I can't do it for the rest of my life. I have to keep that up. No, that's how I feel. I just feel that's how i feel i feel that about literally everything um you know between ghosting to to pee it's just all difficult it's all difficult dating is very difficult i didn't put any highlight on my nose this is the second time in a row that i have done that um i'm gonna go in with the bronze palette and i'm gonna go in with this shade right here this is like my go-to shade i love this shade in this palette as you guys would know like y'all should know like these bronzy gold shades are just everything to me and i just love how they look and i always do like a little exclamation point type of thing on my nose i'm not putting anybody mm -mm. so yeah those are the things i wanted to talk about today um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it didn't come off like rambling but it was kind of like ran rambling slash venting about a few things but i hope you guys enjoy me like talking a little bit more and just getting to know me i guess more on a personal level because i don't actually usually do this um but i don't mind it i just have to find the time to sit down and do it um so i hope you guys enjoy this video i am actually going to um, end this video here and i'm actually going to get into another video and i'm actually going to film a um, review on these products i'm not doing any swatches so don't come to me for swatches i don't like doing that um i may so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this particular video i love how this look came out it's super pretty just super just mm, i love it i feel like it's a pretty common look that i would do just like the gold with a nice bold i love bold transition colors you know that um so i love how this look came out it looks really nice so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't give up on love, guys. Somebody's going to swoop us up and <sighs> I can't even say what what it's going to take because when I think I'm not a difficult person, apparently I'm a diff I'm difficult. I don't know. And 
when I think I'm being simple, apparently it's not simple enough. Or maybe it's because I'm simple. You know, I don't know. Honestly, I really don't know. I try and I guess I'm kind of getting fed up trying, you know? And I'm just gonna enjoy, I join, I join my own company anyway, which you guys know, I'm always home. So I enjoy my own company, but you know, it would be nice if I can, you know, call somebody to watch a movie with me every now and then. And yeah. Oh well. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for stopping in and yeah. Hi guys.